don't pretend like you were put in a very, very tight corner. You had a right to choose to make a decision and to say no. Hello, my family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth. Welcome, guys, to this special episode of my video today. And right in today's video, guys, I'm here with the man of God by person of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. And today's video, guys, the man of God, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, is actually going to be talking about um, why the disciples were actually slept with if they were slept with with the man of God, Prophet TV Joshua. So I have told you that please you need to watch the full video okay please and i will recommend you to go to the man of god prophet emmanuel makandiwa's um channel to get the full video i am begging about this so that you won't just listen to one part and then think the other part he said so many things and you know if i if i have to for me if i have to bring any video here i could have just bring the full video but i can't do that it's not it's not i don't have any rights to hit so guys so i just have to bring this part so he's going to be talking about those disciples why did the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, sleep with them? Is it actually true? Alright, or is it not true? Alright, so he's going to be teaching them their own lesson that they need to learn next time. And an advice to all women too. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe as we are going to be watching this video. Let's watch this and I'll be right back. Don't pretend like you were put in a very, very tight corner. You had a right to choose to make a decision and to say no. But you said yes because you were also interested. What I've noticed with most of the victims, not from T.B. Joshua's ministry, with most of the victims that we have personally tried to help even as a ministry, by advising them to report all of these cases to the police. What I've noticed with most of these victims, most of these victims, they bring it out as rape. Yet it was never rape. Majority of them. Majority of them I noticed that they also have their modus operandi, their mode of operation. The only time they think of exposing a man of God is when they realize that he's doing to my friend the same thing that he did to me. When the man of God, when the pastor, when the prophet stops communicating with her, is now going out with another girl, then the fight will erupt. It will begin. What they don't want is the man of God not to sleep with them, but to then go on and sleep with another. Then the exposures will start. So sin is not at that, at that point when the man of God is sleeping with her, when she realizes that I'm not the only one. There is something wrong with that constituency also. You don't know, you people, what you're coming to church for. You don't know. The way that most of these people have been abused, people that have been abused, this thing, it, it, it is gradual. If I'm going to help that constituency, I will help you by saying, If those women that you saw in the documentary, if they were really abused, if they were really abused, if T.B. Joshua really slept with them, if that's the truth. So yourself as a constituent, what is there to learn? What are you going to learn from that? I'll, I'll show you what you need to learn, if it is true. 
but he has slept with them. This is the lesson for any of the victims. Either you are currently a victim or you are to become a victim in the hands of another man of God. This is the lesson. The attacks that you have watched, how the victims have been attacked, having been victimized by one man of God. And all of us men of God, we come out to defend our own. It's a sign that there is no hope for you. If you are to make a mistake of giving in and you give a man of God access and he sleeps with you with the hope that you will threaten, with the hope that you will report the matter to the police, with the hope that you will do a documentary, this is a lesson to be learned. You will come out and you will narrate your story and you know what people are going to demand, evidence. It's a lesson that you need to learn before you get abused because this is something that you can avoid. We will demand that you show us a video. So according to us, we are expecting you to carry a camera on your shoulder and you set it over there and you get raped. When people are saying, give us evidence, you will have people. Listen to me, the next victim. If people say to you, we need evidence, even before you show them evidence, ask them, what do you consider to be evidence? You'll be shocked. Because you can bring out overwhelming evidence and people can still refute. They can still deny it. You will be the only person who believes your story. So what's the advice? You better stay away. You need wisdom on how to conduct yourself. Now that you have seen how others have suffered in the hands of their own people, their own brothers, their own sisters, having been victimized, if they are really victims, it's a lesson to be learned. There is no place that you can go to. The only defense that you have it cannot be the police. It cannot be a documentary. It cannot be an exposure. It cannot be a live broadcast of any sort. Forget it. Lessons to be learned from this is that I would rather not allow a man of God to touch me. Lessons to be learned from this. The closest people to you will come after you. In that same church, when you come out and you say that the man of God slept with me, there are also women in that church that the man of God has never slept with. They will come after you. 70-year-old women in that church, they will tell you, I've been in this church for 20 years. How come he never tried to sleep with me? They think if a man of God is sleeping with women, he has to sleep with every woman in that church. The mode of operation of an abuser is to spare the bigger chunk, three quarters of your audience. You don't touch them so that they rise up for you. In the case, a quarter that you have abused will start to speak out. How can somebody come out and say, the man of God has slept with me? And you are crying and you are telling the truth. And you hear someone coming out to defend that man of God. And he says, listen to the, to the defense. Someone will come out, you having said that I've just been raped. Somebody has slept with me. 
and you are crying and you need help. Someone comes out and he says, no, you are lying. Because the man of God, we have seen him giving the poor rise. He takes care of the poor. What has that to do with him sleeping with me? Even if he's a prophet, it's just one gift that he has. It doesn't mean that gift has destroyed his ability to sleep with a woman. All right, my family, there you have it with the man of God by person of prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. And, you know, and you have heard the several things he has said. All right. Some of my they listen to him and said, Oh, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa doesn't have his side. Is is he in both sides? Is he in the middle? No, he's actually not in the middle. That's why I would advise anybody out there, please go and watch out for the full video. All right. The full video will help clarify that answer because he did say some other things at the latter part of the video. So please, I am begging you. All right. Don't just watch what I'm giving you now and then raise your conclusion it is very wrong all right but i'm just bringing some of the part that he talked and which you need to also listen to and part of the things that he said in this particular part where i would like to re-echo is the fact that um for those ladies for example just let us he, he made mention of the fact that if we can imagine that these ladies did these things all right or these things happened to them and now they are coming out to expose nobody's believing them or rather they are defending the man of god they are believing but let's assume they are not you know this thing is not true all right you can imagine them coming to expose a man of god that it is not true people are still defending him all right so in both cases they are not gaining anything right now you see so as a woman as a christian whether you're a brother you're a sister all right and maybe your pastor or your man of god wants to sleep with you all right it's very important that you make that decision prophet madam makandiwa made mention of the fact that imagine if you are being put in that kind of a situation all right and the person now tells you that if you don't do if you don't sleep with me i'm going to expose you to the police he said you should rather go to the police than sleep with the pastor so it's a very good advice if not if you do the sleep with the woman or sleep with the man or and then you come out and say you want to come and give us um tell us why he is fake or not nobody will believe you because one people will start asking you for evidence so he said a lot of things guys and i would like you to go watch the full video and be um before you go if this is your first time on my channel can hit the subscribe button subscribe and if you have not liked the video hit the like button like today's video guys i'll see you in my next video bye